Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog, and today we are blasting Rotted Life Records, Night Hag, Insemination Rites of the Succubus, also available on Horror, Pain, Death, Gore Productions. Rotted Life did the cassette. Fucking awesome, awesome death here. Highly, highly recommended. If you've never heard this, chances are, if you're watching this channel, check out my review and check this out in the video description below. But, thanks to Rotted Life Records for always supporting this channel. Same with Seed of Doom Productions who put out this next beast. And I've legit been waiting to do this review and... It's because this is an hour plus of top shelf death doom metal that's littered with a little bit of blackness and it's fucking amazing and it comes from a trio of Germans. This is their sophomore record and that is Into Coffin Unconquered Abysses. Seed of Doom Productions, four tracks, and over an hour of black death doom metal. Holy fucking cow. This is awesome. I wish I had had this, you know, last year when it first came out because this 120% would have been on the album of the year list. This is a god damned beast. All four tracks on here. You have tracks clocking in at 20 plus minutes and they never get fucking boring. Like, it's, it's awesome. And as much as I want to say In The Coffin sounds like In The Coffin, in the Coffin sound a lot like Grave Upheaval and In Coffination, along with also bands like Anhedonist, Spectral Voice, but throw in some crispy production when it comes to the riffs and whatnot, instead of that cavernous sound that, you know, you kind of come to expect from a Death Doom Metal release. These three gentlemen right here decided to do something a little bit different with the guitar sound and everything and made it very, very loud, very up front, and the same goes with the drums. The drumming is super fucking loud and super awesome sounding. To make a 20 minute song sound like it's five minutes is no easy task, especially in the subgenre of death doom metal. Most of the times you'll find yourself repeating riffs and whatnot. Here, this is just something, you know, wow. It's just a total massacre for most other bands that have been trying so very much to get that, like, incantation early more doomy, murky sound. This right here gets rid of the murkiness with a little bit of crispiness and you know, the end result is something that is legit in Unconquered Abyss and In the Coffin entered the void and came out with something completely special and I can't wait for this to be released on wax. I would, I'm sure it would be a double LP due to this album's length, but these four tracks on here, holy fucking shit. 
When it comes to Death Doom Metal, it doesn't get much fucking better than Into Coffin, Unconquered Abysses. Hailing from Germany, this trio knew exactly what the fuck they were doing. You have G on bass and vocals, S on guitar and vocals, and J on drums. So, I can't help you on that one. But this is under license from Terror From Hell Records, who I think probably did the CD and are probably doing the vinyl, but I honestly don't fucking know off the top of my head. But this is some serious shit here, and it's very, very hard to read the song titles. Like, a lot of them are in German as well. Like, instead of Unconquered Abysses, like with an S, there's like an E and like L's and whatnot. But when I looked it up, it's Unconquered Abysses. So there's certain like parts on here where it's like, Lyrically, I'm trying to read what the song's about, and it's like, I have no fucking clue. But the final tra track, and one of my favorites on here, Archetype for the Total Ruin. Oh man, it comes at a perfect time. I mean, right now, with the Corona, Roma, Bananarama, Shama out there, it's fucking madness. But... We have an invisible enemy the same way the folks at Chernobyl did with radiation. And be glad this is not a radioactive event because we would all be D-E-A-D -E right now. The way that our government handled this is embarrassing and legitimately, let's say this was like a Chernobyl-esque incident in the United States, I'm sure I wouldn't be talking right now and you wouldn't be listening. We would be fucking dead. Time of wars. Time for nuclear death till the end. God's war under broken bones. Nuclear wolves of death. Divine genocide, mass destruction, bomb of death, fire has come. Atomic death conquers the void, putrid holocaust, machine of death. Mortal nuclear sentence of death from a divine sky. From Babak to Napur, the storm of black death will conquer and annihilate the ancient cities. Gods and men together for the ancient war to bring ruin, a planet in ruin, a missile loaded with divine hate, disgust and majestic in a limb of adultery. That's a great line right there. Total massacre for the human shit. Shot out like our slave to inglorious death for the supremacy of the evil kingdom. Total evil, total darkness. Fuck yes. Mixing a little bit of Lovecraft with the reality of nuclear war. Imprisoned corpse invokes the void. Sacrifice to the unlight. Out of the temple, abysmal darkness calls, calls the void to the eternal ruin. From the seven tablets he will return. The path for the light of nothingness is signed under the great tower to the inglorious void. Ancestral warrior with a holy mission, dead spire. Yeah. Really, really fucking serious shit. And I really love the fact that they mix fantasy elements with the reality of nuclear death that always looms over our heads. And it's just fucking sick. No one can crush me. No one will enjoy my death. Flames burn strong in summer. 
Under a thousand black flames, the world will burn. A holy atomic war for the total supremacy. No rest for the weakness. So, I have a feeling these four tracks are conceptual. Now, I probably should have actually, you know, read a little bit more into the content here, but there seems to be the mention of a lot of ancient gods and whatnot. Like, uh, a new fucking, uh, where did I see that name? Oh, it's a, it's a lost city here, and I'm pretty sure this is a Lovecraftian city, or maybe In the Coffin was clever enough to invent their own, you know, Cthulhu mythos and add to it through Unconquered Abysses, which would be fucking awesome. But, uh, the lost city of Inki is here. Sapanasi Lord from Nibiru. From the silence of this temple, I will destroy these worlds. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is a concept record about the Ancient Ones and mankind in some kind of nuclear war. But I'm not entirely sure. Total evil, total dark null which I'm pretty sure means total darkness. But this right here is very, very interesting. And now I want to listen to it more and dive even deeper into that black void right there and into some more unconquered abysses. In the coffin, sophomore full length, four tracks at over an hour of interdimensional Black Death Doom Metal from Germany on Seed of Doom Records. Fuck yes. This is so fucking good. I really wish I would have read more into the lyrical concepts here because that is very, very interesting stuff. And it's just fucking awesome. Seed of Doom Records. Fuck Yes. I was doing this last for a reason out of my last Seed of Doom package and In the Coffin, Unconquered Abysses. If you're a fan of Incoffination, Grave Upheaval, you're gonna love this. But just take those bands and up the production level. And here you go. In the Coffin, Unconquered Abysses. Awesome, awesome stuff here. I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. It's fucking sick. And we were blasting Rotted Life Records and Horror Pain Death Gore Productions, Night Hag, Insemination Rites of the Succubus. Killer shit here. And you get a mortician cover of Witch's Coven, so... Just in case for some reason you didn't like the original, or... Maybe the Frozen Soul one, you know, wasn't your thing for some reason. I love that Frozen Soul cover, but... Yeah, Night Hag, Insemination Rites of the Succubus, Rotted Life Records, Horror, Pain, Death, Gore Productions, and In the Coffin, Unconquered Abysses on Seed of Doom Records, as well as Terror from Hell. So get into this. Links will be in the video description below. Hails to Rotted Life and Hails to Seed of Doom for the support. And Hails to you maniacs at home as always. Thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hails.